Right on the heels of a war overseas and threats here at home, today is International Day of Disaster Risk Reduction. Here at CBS 8, we want to remind you that you should need to be safe. you got to have safety as a priority for you and your family, right? Here in California, we have experienced floods, earthquakes, wildfires, and in these situations, knowledge is key. Knowledge is power. Joining us live, Naomi Nolte Carroll, spokesperson from the Red Cross, to tell us more on how we can stay safe here. We're talking more natural disasters, but with everything going on overseas, we should just be prepared, really, Naomi, for anything that could happen, right? We've always got to be thinking about how to keep our families safe. Absolutely. So the American Red Cross responds to a disaster here in the U.S. every eight minutes. Um, oh, the most wow. common one is home fires, but we do experience wildfires, storms, flooding. And really at this point, it's not a question of if it's going to happen, it's a question of when. Yeah, it can happen to anyone, uh, really, right? I mean, you talk about a house fire and you guys are there and you guys help out. It's amazing what you guys do, um, taking in displaced people that are at the worst moments of their life, right? Absolutely. So when there is a disaster, we open shelters, we provide vital relief supplies, uh, we help people with the recovery, but we also encourage people in all situations to always be prepared. If there is a disaster in your area, if there is an emergency, being prepared is really key um, to make sure that maybe you can evacuate at a moment's notice or yeah. you have everything you need in your home to shelter in place. That's so true because we talk about how unpredictable some of these things are, but there are some things we can take care of, right? And that's uh, being prepared. Preparedness is key. Um, and that starts here, right, with a, with a duffel bag. I mean, this doesn't take up much room, folks, a duffel bag here, um, but everything you need you can pack into here, right? Can you walk us through some of the items that are in here and why we should have these items? Absolutely. So what we say at the Red Cross is there are really three simple steps you can take to be prepared. The first one is to build a kit. Okay. So this Here's is our kit. my kit. Um, and there's a number of things that I have in here that I can really pick up at a moment's notice in okay. case I'd have to evacuate. One thing that I really love is this hand cranked radio. Okay. The power might go out, right? Sure. Or we might not have cell reception. A lot of us rely on our mobile devices to get the information that we right. need in case of an emergency. Yeah. But what happens if you can't use your cell phone? Out of batteries maybe, right? Right, out of batteries or maybe even the, the cell towers are sure. out, right? So this radio is really helpful. It's solar paneled and you can hand crank also it. Also looks like there's a flashlight on that one too. Yes, there's okay, a flashlight great. on this too. And then a first aid kit. Okay, and um, this doesn't take up much room. This just has kind of the essentials in it, right? Like your, right, absolutely. Your band-aids, your gauze, your um, disinfectant, that kind of stuff. Right, yeah, so it's got kind of all the basics that you would need. It's oh, yeah. a really small package um, for this one. And, you know, even taking first aid courses or, or CPR is really sure. important. So well, one of the things... we've seen that recently. CPR is super important, yeah. Right, and one of the things that we sometimes don't remember is that when there's a big emergency, disaster first responders might be delayed. And so knowing first aid and having what you need in your home can yeah. really help bridge that gap until first responders arrive. Seconds uh, save lives, right? And Absolutely. Seconds matter. The rest of it's just uh, extra clothes, right? Stuff for the kids and... I mean, we got to make sure that we are, are thinking about the entire family here, right? Right, absolutely. So for myself, I've got a book. I've got some crayons yeah. to keep the kids busy. There you go. Um, batteries extra are batteries. Super helpful. Right, yeah. so I do have a flashlight in here as well. If you're taking a battery powered flashlight, super important, but what if those batteries run totally. out? Yes. Um, like you said, a change of clothes. We've got some emergency water. And I've got my own towel. So if you do come to a Red Cross shelter, we will provide you with everything you need. Okay. But it's nice to have some of those Absolutely. things from home that you want, yeah. right? So when you're building your kit, really think about what are the things that my family needs sure. in case of an emergency. Um, don't forget your pets. If you need to evacuate, so do your pets. Right. So, you know, if you know that there's potentially an emergency that's going to happen in your area, keep them confined to one room yeah. so you can pack them up. It's all about risk reduction here. Uh, is there a website that we can send people to, Naomi, if they want more information, how, you know, how they can build these kits? Absolutely. So all the information you need, you can find at redcross.org slash prepare. Awesome. Thanks so much for coming in and uh, helping us stay prepared. Really appreciate it. Stay with us, everyone. We're taking a quick break. We'll be right back with your top headlines and your updated forecast here on this Friday.